Now, currently on the iPhone, we have the satellite communication features and we have certain capabilities. We have send messages via satellite, which is a really nice new convenient capability via satellite. We have Find My, where you can share location and update your location status via satellite. Roadside assistance, if you ever break down, you're stranded somewhere. And of course, we have emergency SOS. But today, I'm going to talk about five additional new features and changes that Apple is set to be working on to introduce with iPhone in the future for their updated version of the satellite communication services on iPhone. These are going to be extremely useful. So let's start with the first one. The first one is satellite over 5G. This would support 5G NTN, allowing towers to use satellite for increased coverage. So if you're in an area where there's a dead spot, your iPhone can use satellite to extend that coverage and essentially, you know, get rid of those blind spots for communication. So yeah, 5G over satellite could soon be coming to the iPhone with Apple's next update to satellite communication. Number two, Apple could be working on natural satellite communication. So right now you have to go outside, find an area where there's no trees or you're not inside of a building in order to point your iPhone to the satellite in order to get that connection. Well, natural use of satellite could be coming as well where you're just inside of a building and your iPhone will automatically connect to a satellite without you having to really do much so you don't have to go outside even if there's trees or if you're inside of a building your iPhone should automatically connect to satellite so natural use of satellite is also one of those capabilities that Apple is working on for their next update for satellite communication which is extremely useful now before we continue I wanted to take a minute to talk about our sponsor for today's videos Orient AI Orient AI is one of the leading AI tools designed to assist with research paper writing on an academic level it's basically like your own assistant it's a tool that can help help students and researchers write, create outlines, paraphrase, and refine their work with ease. Type a one-line topic and Orient AI will autonomously search information, conduct an in-depth research, and create professional style slides for you. Academic level data traceability is another way for Orient AI to automatically label data sources to ensure reliability of information sources. It is time-saving, efficient, by helping you complete work that might take up to three days in just about 30 seconds. Now, personally, I find Orient AI extremely helpful when creating an outline for an essay when I already have my points or a general idea it is great for that so make sure to check out Orient AI and use promo code IDEV10 to get $10 off today thank you to Orient AI for sponsoring today's video now moving on to number three and this one's super cool because right now we have the ability to send messages via satellite you see right here you can communicate with emergency services send a message and receive messages however with this next update Apple could be adding the ability to actually send photos and images via messages as well so the next update to the satellite communication messages section could allow users to again attach a photo or an image to the message and that way you can relate more information right or perhaps even problem solving so yeah having the ability to add messages and photos to a conversation via satellite is definitely a welcome upgrade to the messages category in the satellite communication system on iPhone. Now, something else that Apple is currently working on, according to this latest report, is that Apple could be adding maps to the list of features via satellite. So having maps via satellite is extremely important. If you're stranded, you don't know where you're at, you can find your way around, and Apple could soon be adding maps to satellite communication on iPhone. And last but not least, Apple is planning to open the APIs to third-party developers as well, which is also a welcome addition so that other apps can also take advantage of these satellite API frameworks in order to use them on their applications as well. And there you guys have it. That about brings it into this video. Those are going to be five additional features and changes said to be coming to satellite communication on iPhone relatively soon. Obviously, I'll keep you guys posted once these become available. I'll make sure to let you guys know. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.